Hey everyone, I'm Brad from Brad Builds. In the previous episode, I finished tearing down the engine, the block got sent to the machine shop to get bored and honed, and I sent out all the measurements needed for my master rebuild kit. Sneeze. <coughs> oh, Jesus. If you guys didn't see that one, check it out. It's the episode before this on my Dotson 240Z playlist. Some really exciting news that I've been waiting to share with you all is I got a new project car. And don't worry, the Datsun is not going anywhere. The lease on my Jetta is actually ending in the next two months and I need a new daily driver. I wanted something sporty and fun, and most importantly, something that I can make more videos on. I actually really enjoy making these episodes. One of my favorite things is that it pushes me to plan everything out versus randomly doing little bits and pieces all over the project, which makes the entire process so much more smooth and way less overwhelming. So expect some new videos on that build very soon. It might be the video after this or the one after that, we'll see. Now that I've updated you guys on what is going on with me and this channel and the build and the new build, let's get back to the Datsun. So to get to what we're gonna do in this episode, we are clearing out everything you see here besides the exhaust, the steering rack, sway bar, and cross member. Those are gonna stay, but besides that, pretty much everything you see here is gonna get taken out so the engine bay is nice and clear so that we can clean it. got that piece off that's underneath the windshield wipers and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like down here. This is dirt and a crap ton of it. I mean, I can stick my finger just all the way through it. Um, tons of leaves and other debris that have just gathered over the years, but minimal rust. I mean, there's a spot there and on the other side, it actually doesn't look too bad. Besides, that's a massive clump. Maybe there's something dead there, I don't know. Considering these pieces are super susceptible, 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 susceptible to rot and rust because it's all the elements can just get in there. It's not bad. This car keeps pleasantly surprising me. I finished with everything in the engine bay that can come out immediately. The gas lines and the brake lines still need to come out. So we're going to jack the back of the car up and disconnect them from the gas tank and disconnect the brake lines from the brakes. And then that should clear out the lines. And then all we'll be left with is the hoses, the master cylinder and the wire harness. I'm not gonna record this next part because it's just awkward having the camera under the car and it's hard to see and annoying to watch. But I just wanna show you guys the clips. The gas and brake lines come in and they're just connected to the same clips that I was taking out in the engine bay. And they go all the way down here and they continue. And they start to span off to their respective places. So I'm just gonna disconnect this real quick 
and get back to you guys in a sec. So I got the car jacked up in the rear and when I was down there, I noticed that there was a massive spider web. And I obviously hate spiders. So I looked around to see if I could find the spider and I saw him and he's about this big with some long legs and a big butt and underneath his butt is this little red hourglass. I ended up spraying down the entire car with bug killer. Came back in a day and there are spiders all over the ground. I'm gonna show you guys those now. If you have arachnophobia, just skip the next 20 seconds of the video and you won't have to look at any of them. So here they are. Uh, yeah, I know they look, they look harmless, um, but I'll show you this guy first. This is a, really quick, this is a Western Brown Widow with the white hourglass on the bottom. This guy right here, big boy over here, mother of all spiders, that's a red hourglass, so black widow. And then these guys are all brown widows of sorts, besides this one, I have no idea what this guy is. But I'm not usually into killing bugs, and killing spiders, especially spiders, because they kill other bugs. But I have dogs, and these guys are pretty venomous. And my dog specifically, Baby Coyote, loves munching down spiders. I wouldn't want any of these spiders to bite her in the face. So, they had to die. Sorry, people who love spiders. So now that we're done talking about spiders and all that crap, we can finish taking out these things, which I'm going to cut to right now. So that's pretty much it. We got all the hoses out, all the brake lines and the gas lines. And as you saw, we did some cleaning because there's tons of dirt. And I vacuumed up all of the debris that has been gathering here because we're going to clean this soon and I wanna get rid of the big chunks so that they don't end up in my driveway. Yeah, the engine bay looks good. There's definitely, there's some more rust spots that I didn't see before, but still, I mean, 50 years old, this thing's probably been sitting for 10, 15 years and not bad. That is it. And that, oh, I gotta sneeze again. <coughs> ah, every time, every time I do these intros and outros, I have to sneeze. That is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel to see more of these builds, to stay updated when I post. I'm trying to upload uh, on a weekly basis now. For those of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I'm Brad, and I'll catch you guys next time.